Good morning, New Orleans District. This is Colonel Murphy for our fourth video of the five we're making on topics related to our upcoming transition into the new post-COVID work environment. Today's video focuses on the fact that for many of you, this is the first time in over a year that you will not only be back in the office, but also back around many of your fellow employees. For many offices and projects across the district, there will be the new faces as well of almost 100 employees who have joined our team since the pandemic started. As we come back together, my challenge to the team comes from a quote that I heard many years ago that says, courtesy costs nothing, but means everything. Let me explain. I love seeing our offices and teams reunite after a year of working remotely. The bright eyes, smiles, laughter, they're all priceless. The camaraderie of our sections and teams is so encouraging for me to see as commander. This is not without its challenges though. The district is a work family, and just like a regular family sometimes steps on each other's toes, we do too. I want to share a few expectations I have of you as commander as you come back into the office. First, I know that a return to the office is certainly not a return to work. For many of you, you've worked harder at telework than you did in the office. It is hard to shut down when teleworking. There are a lot of nice benefits too. No commute. Flexibility, more time with your family. All that to say, this return to the office is not, I recognize, a welcome change for everyone. Some, on the other hand, are looking forward to being back in the office as they didn't like the distraction or the isolation of the telework environment. Regardless of where you fall, it will be an adjustment for us all. Any one of us could easily find something to complain about. As we transition beginning on July the 6th, my request of each of you is to be positive, patient, and courteous with, courteous with each other. Maybe even smile more. It will go a long way for all of our teams. Second, in addition to an extra measure of patience and courtesy, I'd ask employees to keep in mind the politically and socially divisive year the nation experienced in 2020. In all likelihood, you will return to share office space with employees who have drastically different views than yours. Whether it's politics, the environment, or COVID-19, people have all experienced the last year differently. So as we come back together, remember our Hatch Act, EEO, and SHARP training, and be careful to avoid topics that could offend or bring unnecessary divisiveness in your office. Vaccination status, or why someone is still wearing a mask, should not be a topic of discussion. People are making their own health decisions, and it should be a private one, so please respect your coworkers' choices. My expectations of supervisors is that they are actively engaged in establishing and maintaining a positive work environment and stepping in to calm and de-escalate conflicts as they arise. The last thing I'll say on this topic of courtesy, on an almost humorous note, unless you're one, the one on the receiving end of inappropriate or hurtful comments, is to be especially mindful of comments you might make to a friend or coworker about their appearance after not having seen them for a year. Insensitive comments about weight gain, such as saying that it looks like someone put on their COVID-19 or on changes to someone's physical appearance, like a new beard or longer hair or whatever it is, can hurt feelings and cause unnecessary drama when our focus is to build the best teams we can. Again, courtesy costs nothing, but means everything. We also have a lot of new people that we've hired since March of 2020 who will likely have never been to the office and certainly not around the teams and have seen the faces they'll be exposed to. I hope you'll stop and say hello if you see a new face in the hallway and welcome them to the team. Teamwork indeed makes the dream work. I'll close with a note on safety focusing on two higher risk activities related to our return to work. Many of our employees will be conducting long commutes again. As more cars hit the road, traffic patterns change and risk increases. Please drive safely and defensively and give yourself a little bit more time in case your commute time has changed. The second note is on walking at the district campus. Please do not walk outside on the normal walking route as it is a safety hazard with all the construction going on. I'll close by saying I look forward to seeing each of you back in the office, whether it's here in New Orleans, in Lafayette, or the other 16 or so places where we have employees located throughout South Louisiana. Keep up the good work. Thank you for all you do. And remember, 
that courtesy costs nothing but means everything. This is Carl Murphy, out.